Well, after a five day manhunt, police now no longer sitting on the streets of Callahan. Now that the man they say killed a deputy has been captured. Some neighborhoods just now today getting out of lockdown and Atia Collins spent the day out talking with people who lived in that search zone. She joins us now with how they're feeling. Atia. Well, I was here over the weekend and this parking lot was packed with law enforcement and today it sits nearly empty as the search for Patrick McDowell is finally over. I talked to a lot of neighbors around this area who told me today's the first day they feel comfortable leaving their home now that there's no longer a man on the on the run in the woods. They got him, so we're happy. We're thrilled. During the five day manhunt in Callahan, Christy Park watched law enforcement from the porch of her business across from the First Baptist Church where units were headquartered. It was scary. It was scary, especially with the kids. You try and still move around. Do you send them to school? Do you not send them to school? Park says today is the first day she felt comfortable sending her daughter back to school now that Patrick McDowell has been caught. Robert Lowe, who lives close to the search area, is finally getting work done on his house and going on walks without worrying about a dangerous man in the woods. I just hope I'm able to do what I want to do. Walk to the post office, walk to the store, and walk the blocks that I usually walk. It, it's like uh, a certain relief is gone. Both neighbors say the support for Deputy Josh Moyers can be felt throughout Callahan. I mean, I didn't know him personally, um, but you feel like you did and because he was Callahan. So that's Callahan. So, I mean, you're, you're crying for somebody you don't know, but you feel it. Many of the neighbors I talked to are sending their prayers to Deputy Josh Moore's families, and most, many of them are also sending in donations. Reporting in Callahan, Atia Collins, First Coast News, on your side. And